What is up in the hotel room? Working on more Frederick units. Uh, taped off the smoke detector. That is the way the contractor preferred me to do it rather than them put it in test mode. So, uh, what I do on these units is I loosen up all the wiring harness uh, snap ring things here that secure to the back of the electrical box. And once I do that, I can use a ratchet strap to pull this box out of the unit and up and out of the way. And then you actually got actually uh, pretty good access. Somebody told me there's no way to change this fan motor without pulling it through the side. But uh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure that unit will come out uh, doing the same step here to lift the electrical box out of the way. So Somebody already tried to weld this one before me and the leak was here was in this bin which is not where we've been getting the leaks on these. We've been getting the leaks on these right here on top of the compressor, which we have three of them leaking there, which is why I've got these new assemblies from the factory for us to replace. Just not on this one. So I welded it right there. I have the feeling that this box was in place and they reached up in there and tried to weld it because I there was no evidence that these wires had ever been loosened and taken off of the back of this thing. So basically these units have been having some issues, some growing pain issues, but I don't hate them like I hate Goodman because clearly Frederick puts effort into creating these units and their innovation with these units. Even this electrical box, which I lift out, has hooks right here. So when you lift it out, there's a hook there. When you put it back in, before you attach the screws, it holds itself up. I mean, they included that in the design, which is awesome. So I can just hook it. It's totally going to hang there until I put the screws in there. Just, you know, they, they, it, there's just an effort of quality. I mean, look at that circuit board. That circuit board, the SD cards that record the, the, the pressures and everything. So uh, if you need to, you can take a file off and send it to tech support. All the coil temperatures and pressure switch actuations and everything is in there. They have this. They were able to come here and reflash this memory. So I guess they did that already. I found out the other day um, that they did reprogram these to skip some frequencies where these compressors like to shake, which is what's been cracking a lot of these discharge lines. So, so that's good. So yeah, I still actually have respect for this brand just because I think uh, there was a lot of effort put in a tech on these. The way they do the drain even, I mean the drain condensate comes down over here so it can wick away the condensate out through the condenser coil and it's got a little loop of pipe out there too. And then uh, if it has a lot of condensate, it's got the overflow thing here, but I think there's this little thing here to lift up, it'll drop the water in here and then this whole area here is a condensate pan where you have an outlet on that side or this side and they use this side. But it probably doesn't even use this pan that often. It, most of it is able to just take the hot air that's being sucked through this box, you know, and out and uh, evaporate it. It's pretty awesome. So, terminal blocks. You know what? There must be. This is a heat pump, but there's a solid state relay right there. Got the high voltage tap here going out. The high temperature cabling. There must be a heater up there by the fan. Okay, now I got the electrical box screwed in. Got the little wire hangers snapped back in. Let's see. Oh man, so that's a little harder to get to that pipe right there where I made that solder. So, yeah, I think somebody reached their torch up in here and tried to do it. So, obviously, taking this box out <laughs> totally opens up the space. Compressor just started. Ten amps. Dang. Is that right? 130 something volts. Amps. 160 volts. Not a whole lot of pressure differential yet. 90, 07. There we go. Up. 214 volts. We 
usually only read a couple amps on these things. Okay, it seems like the high amp reading I was getting is I'm reading amps and volts at the same time, which is something I do all the time. But 2.6, that's what I usually read on these compressor outputs, but when I have the uh, volt probes in, reading the volts at the same time, it's throwing off. It could be because of the frequency <laughs> coming out of this sucker. Not a normal sine wave. 